Or by the Justin, time. You, you mentioned about anonymity. I think that I'm of the belief, similar to you, that I think if you're actually putting your face and your name out there, that there it, it does carry a, somewhat of a, a special weight to it when you're engaging in critical thinking. Whereas others would say that anonymity affords you some type of uh, you know superior OPSEC. And I know Verse certainly believes that. So I wonder if you could elaborate what what would intellectual, but not just intellectual, but you could say artistic or content creation in this sort of utopian vision of indie thinkers that I know that we've talked about for a little bit. What would you say the role of anonymity would be in that, but also the role of being like a face and putting your name out there? Would it become easier over time to do such a thing when virtually like everyone gets quote unquote canceled or the structures around us crumble and there really is no recourse, but to do things uh, on your own, if that's even possible to begin with. Okay. Right. So we actually did talk about this a little bit before. So I made some points before I actually could say many things about this. So the arguments I made earlier in the conversation, I won't repeat them, but I fortunately have a few other observations, which I'll add. I'm just letting you know, this won't be a completely comprehensive answer. One of the key features of using your own name, which I think is not fully appreciated by people. First of all, I don't think it's the only way to go at all. I have no I have no problem with people who choose to go the pseudonymous path. And in fact, we talked before about some benefits of that. So I think it, there, there are different contexts where these make sense. But one of the big features of using your real name that people don't appreciate is there is a unique mechanism of kind of cultural power that can be enacted when you pay a price for something that you say that you believe. And that is on the one hand, one of the reasons why people don't want to use their real name because they don't want punishment, right? They don't want to pay the cost of having unpopular opinions, totally understandable. But what people don't fully appreciate is that if you have what it takes to pay that cost, if you're willing to basically bite that bullet and say something that you truly believe is real and true uh, and that you get punished for socially, there's a very specific and, and powerful and quite attractive and exciting socio-political mechanism that gets triggered. And this is rooted in game theory. You can actually demonstrate this formally. It's called costly signaling. But basically, the basic logic is that if you're willing to pay a price for a truth that you believe, people increase their estimate of the probability of you really meaning that, of it being true, in other words. So your message actually, on, in a technical way, which is mathematically demonstrable, the message you're willing to pay the price for actually does get communicated more widely and more effectively in a way that people can't cancel. So they can cancel you, right? They can take away your status. They can take away your position. They can take away your paycheck maybe. Um, but the actual message, they can't cancel. And quite the opposite, the message itself reverberates on a technical level more effectively and more widely precisely if they cancel you. And so what I've been suggesting to a lot of people lately is that as these mainstream institutions become more and more oppressive and actually, frankly, offer people less and less. I mean, it's just less and like academia as an example, it's just less and less of a good job. The perks and the benefits that made the whole gig attractive in the first place, those are decreasing every year anyway, right? So uh, when you add to that, the fact that the kind of political insanity and, and all of that is getting more and more insufferable, and you combine that with the fact that the, the internet games are blossoming, uh, payment infrastructure is becoming more normalized. Uh, there's more and more platforms that make it more and more easy to do any number of things, right? Uh, as as an intellectual, when you when you reflect on those things as a whole, there 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 are going to be for many people a really attractive play where you can basically, in a calculated way, take the hit, do the costly signaling, say what you really fucking think with your name, with your face, let people hate you let people cancel you and you can actually reliably predict that this is going to be a surge of power for you that we can actually learn to more and more effectively channel and harness 